on how to start a YouTube channel on a budget. This is episode three and this is what not to do on a YouTube channel. So I'm going to try to express everything that I need to say in a not so long amount of time. I know Raven Elise did this how to be successful on a YouTube channel. It's like 30 minutes long. I skip through it so I don't want to get too in detail but I am going to take some of the things that she said um, that I truly learned from and that I still use today also Malibu Dollface um, when I looked up a couple videos on how to start a YouTube channel he had a lot of pretty good things to say so I'm going to share that with you all for people who are trying to do things on a budget number one Real easy, real simple. Don't compare yourself to anyone else. I did that in the beginning. I had friends who didn't even do research on a YouTube channel. They just up and started and they had thousands of views right off the bat. Me, as you can see, I don't. And it kind of bothered me at first, but I was like, you know what? It's going to be okay. YouTube has this thing where if you're dark skin, you get a lot of views. And if you're white, you get a lot of views. But if you're black, but you're light skin, it's kind of like, mmm not so much you're like riding that in between because it's so much competition for people who are black and light skinned because people like me i can look at a white or caucasian i don't want to sound offensive or rude i don't want to offend anybody um makeup video and her skin color will honestly match mine i can use her foundation as a highlight under my eyes for someone who is a darker skin color in the african-american community they can't do that so it is a deficit of how many dark-skinned African Americans do YouTube videos because it's it's predominantly predominantly looked at by Caucasian young teen females so they definitely dominate the market as far as YouTube goes so I just do my YouTube because I love to do it I feel like it's a great hobby of mine that allows me not to be idle and be bored I have something to do with my life with my free time another thing is don't spend a lot of money on super expensive products so i first um was looking at the ring light i was like oh i need to get an apple computer i need to get a dslr camera luckily my stepmom did have a camera so i didn't have to go out and buy one but i was like i don't want to keep asking her to use her camera because i know she likes to take pictures so i was like okay that's three things that i need to get those three things can retail you about two thousand dollars or more um and for me as a broke college student that wasn't gonna work so I brought a really inexpensive camera that had the flip screen on it I think the most expensive thing I brought was my lights as far as an Apple computer my mom had one so I used hers definitely use your resources and your options before you just go out and buy things they do have the little small ring lights that you put on the phone I wouldn't necessarily suggest that it doesn't really work I mean if you're using your iPhone to record your videos then that's perfectly fine um, another thing that I would say is don't necessarily focus too much on getting things perfectly right make sure that you one do know what you're talking about because it will look off when you're like oh the hair bundle size whatever this is blah 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 like no don't pause don't do none of that now me i pause a lot because my throat be getting dry i don't know about y'all but um i'll be needing some water when i be talking and my water is like a little bit far so anywho make sure you know what you're talking about when you get on there try not to say the wrong things because people will point that out do understand that there's millions of people that view youtube so yes make sure you know what you're talking about when you get on here another thing make sure that you're consistent 
I have not been truly consistent like I should be. I was going to post videos every week and then I switched it up and was like, oh no, okay, school is becoming too much. So every two weeks, then school really hit hard and I was recording like every, sometimes every two, sometimes every three. It just kind of mixed up and depends. Yes, if you watched my second addition to how to start your youtube channel i was wearing the same exact thing because i recorded this video right after that one that's one of the things that i learned that i felt like was really helpful is recording my videos back to back i did switch my shirt oh yeah i did switch my shirt duh and i switched my lipstick to match um the shirt that i have on but i literally just shot this video after my next one that's the easiest thing for me to do in all honesty and that's another reason why i decided to switch to hair reviews was because you can make about six to seven videos off of bundles of hair the review um what it smells like how you colored it how you bleached the knots how you constructed your wig how you um also style the wig different things like that it's so many videos you can do off of that instead of makeup Makeup takes so much time. I don't even wear makeup every day, y'all. So I'm trying to stray away from that. And going into that is my very last point. Sorry if I'm like rushing. If y'all want a detailed video, then please let me know. I try to be as detailed as possible. But is creating a brand. That is the hardest thing to do. I've struggled with that. If you've been following me since the beginning, I've changed the name of my YouTube channel. It was... Naomi Morgan then I switched it to Hey Nay TV because I felt like it was a little bit more catchy but even with I'm still struggling with that I think I want to change it to speaking of and every time I start my channel I'm like speaking of hair or speaking of that dude that you know pissed me off yesterday I I don't know I just go back and forth because it is a hard thing to do you want something that's going to be marketable but easy to remember you don't want a name that's 15 letters long you do want it to tie into your logo one of the things that I struggled with is when you look at a lot of these youtubers that have been youtubing for a long time like Chrissy Cousin of course Raven Elise Malibu doll face um, their Instagrams YouTube channel name Facebook channel name snapchat names they're all the exact same mine were all completely different and it's hard to change your you I'm sorry snapchat name um because I think it goes off of your Instagram it goes off of something or whatever your gmail account is so it was pretty hard for me to try to like figure out how it's going to connect all of those things I'm still trying to figure that out but your brand is basically how you're going to market yourself what you're going to talk about um your color concepts mine is black gold and white i love those colors they're my favorite colors i was thinking about like pink in the long run or blue i decided that i didn't really want to do that um it is it's really hard i'm still struggling with it and that is what took me the longest time i was like what am i going to talk about what are people going to be interested in and I was doing makeup videos, it was going okay, and then I did this hair video where I was reviewing reviewing a wig from Outre, and I got over a thousand views, which is the most views that I've had on any of my other videos. And I was like, well dang, what was so special about that video where they couldn't watch my other videos? Hello? So that's what kind of got me on the roll as of getting into hair, and also me just trying to have time to record and edit these videos i feel like the hair side of it is a lot easier to go into as far as recording and editing because like i said you can record seven videos off of a lace frontal in three bundles whereas in other things take a little bit of time to come up with a concept especially okay i'm sorry if the clip kind of abruptly changed a little bit my camera died which it always does that's another thing this camera has a horrible battery but um, I do want to finish this off because that was pretty much everything I had to say it cut off right when I finished my sentence so hopefully y'all heard that last word I don't even remember where I left off because I started watching love and hip-hop anywho um I hope you all enjoyed these three series I hope it was a little bit helpful that I gave you all some free 
free options instead of stuff that cost the arm a leg and a fingernail so i do want you all to let me know what you all think make sure that if you have any questions regarding um, the longevity of some of the products that i used and if you know you want to know more about the cameras uh, that are out there i know about that as well so i guess the reason why i haven't gotten a better camera is because i just don't want to spend the money yet i prefer to keep the money in my bank account but be sure to like comment and subscribe and this series is coming to an end but it was so nice recording it but i hope you all enjoyed and please make sure you share and let your friends know who are trying to start youtube channels to look at how to do it on a budget before you go watch somebody who has over 50 to 150,000 followers so i see you all later